Today we're going to show you how to create your map for section 2.0 of your report. We're going to use Word. You can of course use other software like Publisher, Paint, Photoshop even, um, or even Fireworks. But it's just as easy to do it in Word and really these skills will use, be used in lots of different ways um, in your future schooling. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new Word document. The reason we're doing it in the Word document is just to make it easier rather than within our template. And we need to go into Google and search Hilliards Creek, Ormiston. Once we get our search, choose Maps. My Google Maps will look slightly different to yours. It's been upgraded, um, but I'll explain what to do. In the top right hand corner of your section, it gives you the option to choose satellites. So if you use some of the down arrows, ensure you pick satellite. And what we have shown is the mouth of the river or the creek going out into a bay. We need to drag further upstream. I'm now starting to see places I know. There's Sturgeon Street. The causeway is just on the other side. And I can also see Ormston College. Now I do want to zoom in a little bit. Because in the end, I want to be able to see on my map the other side of Sturgeon Street, the northern side where the causeway is. I want to see Sturgeon Street. I want to see some of the school and I want to be able to draw in my creek. I don't want to be able to include all of these extras from Google. So I'm going to use my snipping tool. If you haven't already got the snipping tool, just click on the Windows circle and type in snip and it will come up. You can right click on it and you can um, pin it to the taskbar because mine's already there, it says to unpin it. So I'm happy with where mine is at the moment. Um, I'm going to try to include the words without cutting any of the words off. So choose my snipping tool. I'm going to start up in the northwest corner. Again, trying to make sure I include all of the elements that I need. I probably will have to cut up a little bit of that street. And I start choosing my area. So I've included Sturgeon Street, the whole word, Hilliards Creek, Hilliards Creek, Doug Tiller, and I've even got Dundas Street West at the bottom. I'm happy with that, so I click on it, go File, Save As, and I've actually created in 2013 a catchments folder with my report. I'm just going to call it sitemap. The next thing, whilst I'm in Google, I need to be able to collect the scale. Again, your scale is on the left hand side, whereas mine's down on the right. Knowing the image that I've just collected and knowing that my scale is usually located in the bottom left hand corner, I know that it is more than likely going to have trees behind the scale. So move your image until it is the scale has some trees behind it and then snip it and then once you've got that it will meld nice and neatly into the map that you've, you've already snipped. For me I've only got a black background to choose from and I need to move my menu bar out of the way or I won't see it. Just going to snip it, get as close to it as possible, we don't want any extra information around it. Again, File, Save As, and it's going to be Sitemap Scale. Okay, keep Google Maps there because we're going to refer back to it later on. Just minimise it. And now let's insert it into our Word document. Insert Picture. Go to your folder where you've saved it. 
Mine's Year 8 Geography 2013 Catchments Report, and there's my sitemap. Insert it. Now the Format tab automatically comes up, and now the first thing I want to do is put it behind text. It means that I can annotate on top of it, and it won't move my image around. Whilst I'm here, I can add a border, and I want it to be black. I don't want to make it any of these large, horrible things. It just needs to be a black fine line, and that's what it's done. Now, click off that map, and we want to insert our scale. Again, it's another picture. Pick your sitemap scale, and whilst it's highlighted, wrap text in front of text, and it allows you to move it a little bit more freely. Again, bottom left-hand corner of your figure, and make sure that it doesn't hit or touch any of the borders of your diagram. Okay, make sure you've got that. Our next um, installment will show you how to annotate it 